backboard. This particular piece was put into this frame around 1900 and before 1925. You got it? Cardboard is later. Wood is first, early 1900s. Who is this beautiful woman? Not a clue. Not a clue. Just hanging around your house. Hanging in the basement, actually. Oh, she's in the basement? Yeah. She's been relegated to the man cave. Yeah. <laughs> also, we pull it behind the, the wood, and there's a lith another lithograph behind that picture. Oh, behind it, there's another lithograph. Oh, the Declaration of Independence is behind the other <laughs> one. The Picasso is behind the other one. You know, there's chicken soup behind the other one. I mean, have I heard this 10, 20 million times? Ay, ay, ay. Well then why don't you put something in front of this face? I'll be better looking. I would hope. She's gonna, I'm gonna get hit by a lightning bolt coming out of here, watch. <laughs> How dare you, Dr. Laurie? Okay. Do you see this? Her brooch is a mourning brooch, which indicates that someone close to her passed away. Mourning, M-O-U-R-N-I-N-G. This might be the picture at the occasion of her husband's funeral. Get it? Mourning jewelry being shown in a picture usually indicates that this particular person has lost someone. It's late 19th century in the Victorian age when everybody was all about death. The Victorians loved that. Huh? This particular piece is a photograph okay, that has then actually been enhanced or hand colored. Right? Early photograph called the photogravure, which has been then hand tinted. Value on the piece, she's not related to you. She might be related to you. We're not really sure. We're gonna say she's not because, wow, you don't want to look like her. <laughs> Value on this piece is about $25. It would be worth more if we had a relation we could work with. Are you still watching that jewelry over there? All right, I wanna make sure. Hasn't moved, you're doing a good job. The frame is worth about 75 bucks. Thank you.